What is up everyone, this is Multitoros here and today I'm going to show you how to fix DL missing file error that you may have been getting on your computer. So this is actually a very simple video on how to fix this problem and you don't need any software at all whatsoever to fix this problem. So the thing is sometimes you're probably missing a DLL file in your computer and you want to kind of download it and put it in you know, its respective place and basically you're like i keep my whatever software or whatever I'm, I'm trying to open up it keeps has this missing so what do i do you can easily search your missing dll files over here so you can just write whatever well that uh, will actually write an actual dll name so let's just write that whatever just write anything so, so like let's just say bar.dll is what was missing you can easily just download it from this comp basically website and download these files and you can see It'll to give you the download and you can easily see all the information. It'll be a zip file. Once you download it, you can basically find where the files are. It'll even tell you exactly how to install them or reinstall certain things and basically take it from there. Now, majority of your files are in uh, what's it called? Uh, the PC or my Windows. The only thing you want to be cognizant of is what is your computer's bit software so that's one of the main thing is it 32 bit or is it 64 bit so that's one of the things you can kind of look into over here and get a sense of so as you can see over here uh you just go to my computer or this pc if you're in windows 10 you right click you go to properties and you get the information over here so you can see over here this is my computer you know i've got a nice computer over here gaming computer got from cyber power pc and it can say 64 bit so that's the only thing you're going to be cognizant of is is it 32 bit or is it 64 bit that's the main thing. And again, where most of the uh, your is being saved is most likely somewhere in your local disk file, either in program files or some other form of local file per se. That is where a lot of the DLL files are. You might see some outside, but again, most of the times you can easily just find the DLL, whatever you're missing, search it up, click into it, and then download the respective file that you need. Again, it's a, it's a very simple and easy way to do it. You don't need to do anything crazy. Sometimes there's even more instructions over here. Like I said, this website is perfect. You don't need a software. You don't need anything crazy. Though that's the best part. And always make sure you got the latest file. So like how this one says there's only one version, that's fine. Make sure like you get, if it's like multiple versions, get the latest version one. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. Again, it's a very simple and easy thing to do. Uh, I do hope you guys, this ha helps you fix all your DLL errors without using any software. You know, I know I don't like using them. So <laughs> this is the best way to kind of go about it. So yeah, if you guys still have any comments, questions, concerns, just let me know in the comment section below. More than happy to help you guys out. If you overall uh, like the video, please smash that like button. Helps out. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that more tutorials out. Peace.